Good morning everyone. It was June 2016 I finally made my way above the Strait of Gibraltar. Across the Atlantic Sea my eyes interpret Africa's desert as Mars. My brain kept guessing which country lied below my plane and will I ever go there someday? After too many rain and too much cold air in our home, we agreed to go for a bit of sun. But it wasn't just a warm breeze that fly us to Morocco. We were in need of grand size of spiritual journey that can be experienced every day. Marrakesh greet us with feasts, flashy light, crowded street and replication of voices. We enjoy it until the feast make a brief pause when the most nearby make a lot calling. After not hearing a sign for a long time, suddenly my time goes slower and my heart bursts into tranquility. In this moment, I see that Azan is the perfect orchestra in the world. All the step walking with the same rhythm to the same location at its perfect beat. All the smile on peaceful faces is the perfect melody and the lyrics. The lyric is just the best reminder for us all. If Marrakesh was a feast, journey to fast is a meditation. It ties you down to the earth, deleting your regret and soothing your dreams and wishes. Along the way, reality preserved in the form of Atlas Mountain and the Berbers. And who knows that reality is actually magical. Glittery mountain pass before us, followed by dusty stone that breed flowers, until we arrive in the most enchanted place all over Morocco, Yunkai, or known as in reality as Eid Benhadu. For a while, I saw nothing but Therese and their guide who always try to explain the list of movies that has used this place. So, after my mind back to the seas, I try to remember the purpose of this journey just like Muhammad Asad has taught me. Steer the foreigners to grasp the forgotten realities. Surprisingly, on the following Friday prayer around 8 Benhadu, I was shocked by the contradiction that I faced. There is indeed my reality in the middle of nowhere. 8 Benhadu transformed from a sacred place where dragons suggest another neighborhood when I enter the masjid. Again, with the same orchestra. <laughs> Fast and Casablanca, I see myself merge with the cities. They are my reflection. Grasping the reality, in fact, doesn't have to be static. It could draw you far back so you can remember the essence of life. The night in Merzuka Desert was my time machine. Riding camel for hours until I arrived in the campsite assured my heart that I took so many things in this world for granted. As the sun flashes before my eyes, I saw my prophet's journey and the Sahaba. As my palms getting numb, I cannot stop thinking about Ibn Battuta and his perseverance that can bring him out of this desert to the fast world. So, going back home means going to the present time. I hope, I wish, and I pray to remember all the forgotten realities that I've found will never leave my heart again.